Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, recreate the invisible or ghost mannequin effect, but using Photoshop. These are some uh, mannequins that you can buy, but as you can see, they're 300 and up. So basically we can get the same look that's something like this, uh, but without that. All you need to do is take a picture of someone wearing the shirt and then also a picture of the shirt laying flat on the ground. So this is what I came up with just to show you quickly how to do this. I'm just going to hide all the work I did and we'll start all over again. So I just have a clean slate right here, white background, and I'm going to bring in the photo of the person. Just make sure when you do take the picture, the model is not touching the shirt. Um, like she is here on the right, it kind of interferes, but even this is fine but you want to really keep it like the left side. It's totally separate from the shirt. Also, another little problem with this picture is that her hair is in the way, so definitely make sure you don't have any hair or any clutter in the background uh, or anywhere around the shirt. Since this is in my photo, um, I did go online also and find a shirt flat on the ground. And I know they're not the same color, but I'm just going to uh, make them the same color because the neck seem to work with this one and if you don't know how to change the color of something on Photoshop I do have a video on that so I'll just leave that link down below in case you want to see that too but anyway I'm going to just hide that photo for a second and now this is the shirt that we're working with I'm going to just right click and press rasterize layer so that we can move it around and everything and I need to grab any selection tool um, will work. I'm going to use the quick select tool and just quickly select her shirt. Try to go as close as possible to the actual shirt. You can add or subtract uh, using shift and option and just really get in there and take your time. I'm not going to take too long just so that I can show you really quickly. Again, I didn't get too precise with this, but that looks pretty good. But make sure you're still on that layer with the shirt. I'm going to press Command Shift I, or you can also just go to Select and Inverse. Now, once you're here, you're going to press Delete, and that'll get rid of everything around. So this is almost the complete look. All we need to add is that back part of the shirt. And that's going to be with the second shirt that I brought in here. Again, I'm going to right click, rasterize layer, and now we can move it around. Uh, you can use command T to move it around. I'm going to bring the opacity down so that I could see behind it and try to kind of fit it in with the shirt behind it. It doesn't have to be too exact because we'll shape it a little more in a second, but just so that it kind of matches up with the shape and size. Now you want to just press that check at the top and bring the lasso tool in to just kind of cut around where the neck is going to be and make sure you outline all the rest of the shirt. And you can press delete because we don't need that part. So right here, if I bring the opacity up, you can see that this line right here is the end of the front of the shirt and that's what we need to hide behind the shirt that we have right here, this pink one. So I'm just going to press Command T and then right click and press Warp. So here you can kind of move whatever you need so that it fits and you see now this line is matching up. This one moved up so you can just move the other dots around just play around with it until you get what you need. My left side's looking pretty good. It's okay if anything is coming out on this side because we're going to delete that anyway. Okay, that looks pretty good. And if you notice, this part right here doesn't actually match up perfectly. It goes beyond the pink shirt, but that's perfectly fine because you're not going to see this anyway. Now you can just press enter and that'll stay in place. And we can bring the opacity up again so that you can see where we're going to be cutting this. Then you're going to bring this top layer under the whole shirt. And here we have some extra uh, shirt coming out. So I'm just going to select that and make sure you're on this layer and delete. 
you can just do that until you don't have any extra pieces around your main uh, part of the shirt. So that looks pretty good. It looks a little raggedy, of course, because uh, her hair was here and here. So obviously when you take your picture, it's gonna look much better than that. But ignoring that, this is pretty round. It looks good. You know, you could clean this up a little bit, but you get the idea. And again, this is blue, so I'm just gonna turn it pink really quick and that's gonna be the entire thing. It's all done. Okay, well that's it. Uh, I hope that was easy to follow. Um, this is so much cheaper than buying um, a mannequin to do this definitely try it out and you can get funky with the poses too it doesn't have to be this straightforward but I definitely recommend just trying this um, to begin with so you get comfortable with it and then you can try other poses all right guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys next week for another video